What's up guys, how's it going? So here I'm just going to show you another infantry vid, uh, this one more on defense, and uh, I'm going to show you how to defend against a superior cavalry force while you're also unnumbered. So first thing I'm going to cover with you guys is artillery placement. So I have two squads of mortars, two squads of direct fire artillery. Um, so I want to place my indirect fire artillery, my mortars, on the high ground. The reason for this, they can fire on the whole battlefield from the start, you're going to see this later. And um, my direct fire, I'm going to keep them more level, still a bit on the high ground in a defensive position, so they can bounce cannonballs. The reason you want to bounce cannonballs is to hit the troops. The only downside to this is um, you can't really use canister shot as well, because the way I'm going to be defending this, I'd be shooting on my own guys if I use canister shot. So put these guys on the ridge. So here you can see my army set up with a nice pike spear wall at the front. So now the two reasons I have a pike spear wall there are first uh, to either defend against the cavalry or to push the cavalry on the flanks. Now to push the cavalry on the flanks they're in the forest and cavalry in the forest they can't really move that well. So that's why you want to negate the speed of the cavalry which gives them their strength. So on the flanks, I'm going to slow down the cavalry and finish them off with my own. And you can see my missile infantry on the higher ground to lay volleys on the enemy infantry while not being shot at. So I'm going to start off with incendiary rounds, um, simply because they look pretty and they're pretty demoralizing to the enemy. And you can see they can fire anywhere on the battlefield that they want to. I think I just destroyed one of their artilleries. So now their cavalry is forming on my flank. Again, they, they have to cross through the forest and the forest negates their speed which the cavalry gains strength from. So you guys are asked which units I'm using. I'm using the Gendarmerie Cavalry and uh, three squads of uh, Old Guard Infantry and four Line Infantry squads with my reserves. So now their infantry is forming up according to my line, and the pikemen now are more of a distraction than a weapon, because their infantry is going to be firing on my pikemen, while my guard is going to be able to fire on the infantry without being shot at. Thus, you get easier uh, ranks firing, you get faster rates of fire, and less demoralizing effect. Now, it is a bit cruel for the pikemen, because they can't really defend themselves, but it works out very well and it ends up uh, in me outgunning the enemy. So now the cavalry is forming on both my flanks. It is expert AI, so they do all this stuff. But you can see how when they move through, through the trees, they just slow way down and it takes all their energy away. So I can see how my artillery, if they would be firing, uh, firing canister shot, they would be firing on my own guys. And I don't know who my mortars are firing at right now. Now I'm going to send my reserves in there just in case at that weak point right there where I really don't have that much support and just send my cavalry in the forest to counter theirs. I'm going to fix bayonets now, very effective for infantry against cavalry. And now the Swedes are charging me because they see that they are outgunned and uh, they're going to charge my front lines, probably my puckmen are going to start routing already one squad I routed. I'm gonna fix bayonets on my guards and guards are excellent hand to hand infantry. Also my line infantry I'm gonna fix them and they shouldn't break that line. It is a very solid one. You see how I form a very nice circle around my artillery to keep them in a very conservative kind of position. And again guys like use natural uh, choke points. You can see how my but the bulk of my army is on the, the, the plains where there are no trees and I'm forcing their cavalry to take the flanks where I'm protected by forests. So I'm just going to finish off their infantry. Send my pikemen and my reserve line infantry on the cavalry roads. So now their squads are starting to rout because they can see that they're not, not even getting through my lines. And yeah, battle should be over pretty soon. 
Alright, there goes their general, and they are routing. So guys, I thank you for watching. I uh, hope you guys learned something, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and yeah, I'm going to try to get you some online commentary battles as soon as I can, but my video recording software is, uh, it freezes my computer every time I try recording an online battle. I have no clue why. I'm going to try to fix that problem. I'm going to try to get you some online vids with commentary as fast as I can. So remember to check out my channel and subscribe. Th uh, subscribe. Thanks to all my subscribers. I really appreciate what you guys do. And uh, feel free to send me comments, suggestions, rate, tell me what you think, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.